Everything you ever said to me was lies. What the hell are you doing here? You just left me there and ran. But we was married. Well, you don't think that little charade we went through was a real marriage, do you? Well, that's what this paper says. And that's what the state says. And that's what I say. You're the waitress from Haleyville. I'm Mrs. J.R. Ewing. Just look at this if you need to. Bobby, it was all a joke. I, I only married her to keep her brothers from killing me. Is that what you really done? You told me that you loved me and that you wanted to bring me here to Dallas to, to marry and to live with you. Is that true, Jill? Well, in a, in a kind of vague sense, I suppose it was. Well, it may not have meant much to you, but I loved you. And I married you because I wanted to live with you and have your kids. And by damn, married we are. I was still married when I was forced to marry you. Now, that's coercion, and, and, and that marriage certificate is not worth the paper it's printed on, believe me. Uh, J.R., just a second. Now, I'm looking at the date here, and Sue Ellen had divorced you just before this, so you were a free man. So, I guess we are married after all. Yeah, well, you'll play hell proving that in this part of the country, honey. J.R., did you marry this girl? Well, I... Um... I suppose I did, I, but... I, <laughs> then you own up to it and do the right thing. Well, oh, look at her. You think she's going to fit in in Dallas? What's so all fired wonderful about Dallas? You think I couldn't dress and walk and talk as good as anyone you know? You just watch me. Well, I think maybe you could, and I also think maybe you married beneath yourself. Maybe so. But I'm gonna make him a proper wife, and he's gonna make me a proper husband. Are you hungry, child? Name's Callie. Calpurnia, really, and yes, ma'am, I'm right hungry. Then sit down and join us. Look, no, Callie. Perfect seat for you. Right here. There you go. And welcome to Southwark. from up around Haleyville. I remember. She worked in the restaurant. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but what is she doing here? Oh, she just came to visit. Did you invite her? Uh, no, not exactly. They are. Well, the fact is, son, I married her. Married her? When? Well, it's kind of complicated, but uh, she's not going to be around long. Why don't you boys go and watch TV in the den or something? Okay. Okay. Well, go ahead, say it. I told you not to mess around with the local talent in that town. Listen, I've been through enough hell because of that girl. I don't need any lectures from you. Well, you didn't have to marry her, pal. I didn't. Her brothers would have killed me if I hadn't. Those two guys we had trouble with in the bar? That's right. Well, maybe I should have let him beat some sense into you then. It would have ended the whole thing. Get off my back, will you? She's nothing but a little hillbilly. She's a hillbilly with a marriage license. Well, I won't take care of that soon enough. Yeah, I guess you're right. Divorcing her would be a lot kinder than staying married to her. Mama should have had her tubes tied right after I was born. I was dumb, wasn't I? You don't love me. All you ever wanted was just to get me in bed. Callie, you're so sweet and unspoiled. You don't have to go back. I can set you up in a, a nice little shop and a nice little house, and you'll never have to be alone. I come visit you every once in a while. I told you once, I'm not gonna end up being your fancy lady. Now, either you tell everybody I'm your wife or you can just stay away from me. No, I mean it. Good night, Callie. JR? Sweet dreams, Callie. 